guys, it's Carrie with Mama Dares to DIY, and I really want to thank you for tuning into my channel today. Now, if this is your first visit to my channel, I'll say a big old hello, or if you're a returning subscriber, I'll say welcome back, my friend. I am so pumped about today's video because not only do I have a Dollar Tree tutorial for y'all, I have teamed up with some of my crafty friends, and we are all going to bring you a Christmas collaboration yay y'all this is my first collaboration and I am so 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 stoked to share it with y'all so after you watch my video be sure to look at my friends videos I'll link their links down below now joining me in this collaboration is Kippy from Kippy at home and Sarah from Salmon and Nika from pack eat repeat we all have fun, super amazing, and super affordable DIYs for y'all. So check us all out and be sure to leave everybody a comment and tell them Mama Dares the DIY sent y'all. And also be sure that you're subscribed to my channel with all notifications turned on because y'all, I'm going to be slamming you with Christmas tutorials. So much fun Christmas DIY stuff going on. Maybe a few shopping hauls in there and, and I still have to decorate my Christmas tree and trust me you don't want to miss anything so all notifications turned on check and if y'all enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me so without further ado let's get started okay so let's get started on today's video now we will need a few things from dollar tree and let's go over those really quick so the first thing we'll be using is a set of the silver plastic napkin rings we're also going to need two of these little square plaques from Dollar Tree. They have a pink one and a blue one. It doesn't really matter because we're going to cover this up anyway. We're also going to need four of the wooden rolling pins. We're going to need a package of the glass ramekin dishes. And we're also going to need a smaller plaque. I actually picked this one up um, for fall, I believe it was, but they usually have these a lot. And I just peeled off the decoration that was on the front and cleaned that off. And we're also gonna need one of these uh, holiday candle sticks from the Dollar Tree and any kind of decorations that you wanna decorate this with. So y'all are probably wondering what in heaven's name we are gonna do with all of this. And let me just tell you, it is such a fun and easy project and you are not going to believe what all of these little um, items transform into. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we want to do after you peel off your decoration on the front is just remove the wooden hangers. Now this one just pulls right out. And we'll also get rid of the tags. We'll set those to the side. Now this one you will have to take your screwdriver take out. Now these little screws are tiny so I'm gonna try my best to take this out. You almost need one of the little eyeglass kits. Now y'all know me I save everything so I'm gonna save these little hangers because more than likely I can make something with them. Okay, and if you if these little holes bother you, totally feel free to, you know, sand those down. I'm honestly not really worried about it, so I'm just gonna leave them be. Okay, so let's take all the paper off. And we're only going to need one of these little ramekins, so I'm just going to take one out of the package and set that to the side. Oh, and we're also going to need a shower curtain ring. I forgot to tell y'all that. Just one shower curtain ring. These are Dollar Tree shower curtain rings. So this one was left over from my Jute Garland project for fall, and if you missed that, be sure to check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to take one of our little, um, we're gonna need four to start off with. So we're gonna just take out four. And we want to glue four of these onto the bottom of our little um, 
one of our little plaques here. Now, I am going to be testing out a new glue today. This is Starbond glue in thick. Starbond was kind enough to send me over um, some adhesives to play around with. And this is my very first time to use it. So y'all, I'm just going to try it out on camera for you just so you can see how hard or how easy it is to use. So we're all about to find out together. Okay. This is supposed to be instant. So we will find out. It's pretty instant. Okay, so you just take the top off according to the directions. And it's got a nice little nozzle there. I'm gonna just snip this top off with my scissors. Uh-oh, good thing that's not a real candle or we're gonna set the place on fire. Okay, so we don't need much of a tip. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so let's just go in. They do have um, a thick, an, a medium thick in black, and they have a medium in clear, and they also have a thin. So we're gonna be using the thick today. And it says just go in with a very thin layer. Kind of has the consistency of super glue. And I kind of feel weird that I'm not um, double glue in here, but I just want to give it a chance to see how well it holds. And I can't really do that if, if I'm using my hot glue too. So we just want to kind of put a little glue here. Now, if you don't have Starbond, but I will be sure and link my Starbond link down below because I am really excited to work with this company. They have great reviews online and I'm always looking for a good adhesive. That held, y'all. Wow. It doesn't really have a bad smell either. It's not too bad. It kind of smells like super glue. Have y'all figured out what we're making yet? I'm so excited. This is my first time to do one of these, and y'all know I just kind of wing it. I kind of have the idea in my head. So, I'm really hoping it works out like I think it is. Okay. Whoops. That one didn't have time to sit. That was my fault. Okay, so we'll just let this sit for just a minute. Okay, so while that sits... Let's go on to another step of the project. So now let's take another one of our shower, I mean, another one of our napkin rings here. And I actually have an old glue gun that I keep that I don't use anymore. Um, I've upgraded to a different one, but I, I like to use this because glue guns are great for making holes into plastic things. So to do that, it's really simple. You just want to get your glue, uh, your glue gun and have it on high if you have a dual temp because it will not work on low. And you're basically just going to burn a hole into your little napkin ring here. And just kind of put a little bit of pressure and it just goes right in. See that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's do the other side real quick and just kind of, if you can see there's like a line and that's kind of what I'm going by so that they both kind of stay on the same uh, edge there. So we'll just do the other one. You do have to kind of put a little bit of pressure on it, but it's not too terribly much. Just give it a good twist. Now we'll go back over this other side because it's going to have the little plastic things and those will just break off so you can see those. See the little plastic pieces? They just come right off. Now 
let's do the other side. You want to make sure you've got two clean holes. And get rid of the little plastic bits, but wait till they dry. You don't want to do it while it's hot. Okay, so now we've got a hole that goes all the way through. Okay, so let's see if our... Okay, I think our glue has set up. Look at there. Yay! Okay, so far Starbond gets a thumbs up for me. Now comes the real test. So the next thing that we want to do is to cut a piece of cardboard or if you don't have cardboard you can use um, like poster board or some kind of material we just want to cover up this right here because we don't want to see these eyelashes i mean as pretty as they are you know not not something i want to see so i'm just going to go in with a little bit of glue just so this doesn't move and i have gone ahead and measured and pre-cut this i'm just going to stick that down in there You could also use hot glue for this. Oh, y'all, I kind of got that one crooked. Here, let me pop that off and re-glue it. That's what I get for doing it, not in front of me. Okay, now this thick star bond is supposed to work for filling gaps and voids in wood. It's good for bonding, repairing, and assembling parts. So we're about to find out if that is indeed true. But it says not to use too much. You know, it says it takes just a very small amount. So we about to find out. So we want to take a little bit of our glue and put it on one end. of one of our rolling pins. Now we're just going to put one of our rolling pins in our corner here. Okay, and we're going to repeat the process with the other three. Okay, have I given it away yet? Can y'all tell what this is? Okay, this seems to be holding pretty well. Now, if you want to, for this next one, you can totally put um, another piece of cardboard in the inside of this one too, but I'm not going to just because mm, that takes too long. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the corners of these rolling pins. And y'all, we're just going to simply pop the top on these other ones. Now, when you line it up, make sure that you do line it up into the corners, just like you did the last one. And I'm just going to hold this until my glue has a chance to set up.
Okay, so this is not drying quite as fast as I want it to, so I'm going to try using the accelerator um, that came with my Starbond kit. And it says just position the bottle upright, six inches away from the surface. Spray the accelerator onto the surface for bonding application. Spray accelerator on one surface, then apply glue on the opposing surface. Position the material together and hold for 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's see if this helps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Okay, let's see if that worked. <sighs> Y'all, that totally worked. Okay, so I guess that's the cool thing you need the accelerator for. I guess I should have read my directions a little closer. Okay, good to know though. Okay, so this seems to be really sturdy. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. <laughs> kind of looks groovy sitting there while we do this next part. Okay, so now we want to take um, our little smaller little box here. And we're going to take one of our little glass ceramic and dishes. And I'll use our Starbond glue again. And I think I'll use the accelerator because that was super quick. It does kind of smell funky though. We'll just spray this. And try to get it in the center as well as you can. It looks pretty good. Okay. So we'll just hold that down. Look at that. Woo! Oh my God, y'all, I am totally digging this store-bond stuff. Yay! Wow. This accelerator is super cool. Cannot get over how quick that bonds. Okay. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little shower curtain ring. And this is the fun part. This is so fun. When I came up with this, I was like, oh man, I'm such a genius. So we're just gonna thread that through. And it's kind of tight in there, but if you've got little fingers like I do, you should just be able to push that together. Push your little shower curtain ring together. If you want to put a little bit of glue in there just to hold it in place, you can totally do that. Just to secure that down. Okay, let's hit it with this accelerator. Groovy. Yay. Okay. Have y'all figured out what we're making yet? Pretty cool. Okay. So now we're just going to take and put some glue onto our little handle here. It really only takes a drop of this stuff. Okay, now make sure that when you position this down, you've got your um, sides even because you don't want your you don't want your top here to be all cock cockeyed looking. Okay, and I really do like the way that I'm doing the handle here. Um, I haven't seen anybody else do this yet. Not to say that they haven't. I just haven't seen anybody do this. But I really like that you can have your handle to go up or down. Uh, in case you have not figured out what we're making here, y'all. We are making a lantern. A Dollar Tree lantern. Okay, let's try this out. Look. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so awesome. Yay, I cannot believe I'm trying this on camera. 
Okay, so now we'll just flip it over and we'll do the same thing. We'll put a little glue on here. And I'm just putting a little glue in the corners here. And we'll kind of spray where I think this is going to go. And y'all, I'm just going to eyeball this. I hope you can see. You know, if you're bothered, you can totally get out your measuring tape and measure to make sure it's even, but, you know, I don't, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, y'all, this is built. This little lantern took no time at all to build. Now I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to give it a nice coat of a flat black spray paint. And then we can bring it back inside after it's dry and we can decorate it up. Wasn't this easy? Okay, let's go outside and spray paint it and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that our little lantern is dry, all I did was put batteries in um, my little candle from the Dollar Tree. And these are the ones that have little suction cup that you just stick to uh, your window. But for this, I'm going to put it right in the middle of my lantern. Now, I'm also going to be using the premium picks that I picked up. I really love these. I still haven't been able to find any more of these in stock, and it makes me so sad. So I'm hoping that my Dollar Tree gets more of these because... These are probably my favorite pick. And y'all, I'm just gonna kinda use these as my decoration. You know, feel free to put whatever you want to in your lantern, but I'm just kinda thinking, maybe I'll make it like a Christmas lantern. And if you wanna glue your lantern, your light down, you totally can. Um, I'm probably gonna be changing these out for seasons, so I don't wanna you know, I don't want to glue it down too much, but you could put like a little sticky dot or something on the bottom just so it stays in place. And again, I'll just take another one. I'm using two of these. And I'll just shape it a little bit. Kind of bend the, the end of it. And I'll just put this little guy in here. And then I think I'm going to finish it off with this cute little owl ornament that I picked up. I'm not going to be using this as an ornament. I'm just going to be using it for decoration. So I'm just going to clip this off. Now be sure and be careful and not clip off his little pine cones on top. And I'm just going to kind of place him in here. Right there like that. Is that not adorable? I just love the way this turned out. And I'll back up so you can see everything all in one shot. But y'all, is that not the cutest thing? Okay, so let's figure out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So roughly around $10, um, maybe 11 if you count, you know, all of the decorations. So for 11 or $12, you can have this cute little lantern that you that is easily changed out for the seasons. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.